Hello everyone, my name is Alisher and I want to present you my research work. Um, the title is Photoactive Metallic Drugs for Applications and Cancer Therapy. And the primary work of our group is to develop light activated drugs that can be used for cancer treatment. And this type of treatment is usually called photodynamic therapy or PDT. So how does it work? Person with cancer receives a drug that called, called photosynthesizer and uh, in time, cancer cells absorb this photosensitizer, and later, once exposed to the light, it uh, may, may, it forms a reactive oxygen species that kill cancer cells. And the uh, main target of this work was to create a, a new photosensitizer uh, based on the ruthenium uh, to polyperidyl oligotinyl complexes and determine the effect of elite height and chain length connectivity of such complexes. If we look up our, to our uh, target structures, we can see that it has metal ruthenium core, which is surrounded by three enantiomer ligands. And to affect the pi expansiveness of our system, we added typing rings systematically, increasing from zero to four. And the synthesis of such compounds for in microwave conditions, where we mix the cis dichloro enantiolin precursor and uh, the IP1 uh, anti ligands. And ruthenium tris enantiolin complex was also synthesized using the same in microwave conditions. And later, uh, thin complexes were purified using silica gel chromatography, uh, ion exchange, and size exclusion chromatography as well. Later, our family of compounds was characterized by NMR spectroscopy and mass spectrometry. And all the signals of protons for our compounds were assigned and later confirmed by 2D NMR techniques such as COSI, HSQC, and HMBC. And for mass spectrometry, we can see two unique peaks, which one is a uh, protonated uh, as a group and one is uh, deprotonated. Later, our complexes were photophysically characterized, and on a steady state absorption uh, spectra, we can see three major features, which is uh, A stands for interligand transition, or B, we see either interligand or interligand charge transfer, or ILCT, and we can see the trend that increasing the number of thiophenes, we increase the intensity, and our peak is red shifted. And for C, it's a metal ligand charge transfer or MLCT. Uh, later, we perform a transient absorption uh, sp spectra, and we see that for ruthenium zero T complex transient absorption, uh, there is a ground state which uh, negative absorption present, and for Ruthenium 40, instead, we see positive absorption um, centered at 660 nanometers that is contributed by the ligotyping units. And later, this trend was confirmed on our photobiological evaluation, where, where dark toxicity showed uh, little activity. Once exposed to the light, we can see the trend that the effective concentration, which kills 50% of cells started to decrease, which means the efficacy started to increase in, as well. And to conclude our to and sum up all said above, we can say that a new family of ruthenium 2 polyperidyl oligotyping complexes were synthesized, characterized, and evaluated for photobiological activity against cancer cells. And previous studies showed that triplet ILCD state is the key to achieve a higher photobiological activity. And then increasing the number of diaphenes will allow us to uh, obtain lower energies for light photo excitation. So we want to thank the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at UTA. We also want to thank uh, NIH, NCI, and NSF for financial support. And if you have any questions or interested in our research more, check out our website at mcfarmlabs.com and follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much.